this is my uh, review and installation video for the two guard CA 531 digital wireless rear view system so basically I wanted to install a rear view camera or a reverse camera in my car so I bought this kit and uh, what's uh, special about this kit is that it does wireless uh, instead of a wired camera so basically um, here's the camera you mount this on your license plate and then you connect it to this wireless transmitter and then uh, it will transmit it to this headset I'm oh, sorry this uh, this 5 inch LCD screen um, and uh, the basic concept is uh, you would uh, install this on the um, license plate feed it into your car and then uh, it would attach to here this transmitter and also then this transmitter uh, you would uh, also connect these two wires to your reverse um, uh, reverse lights so that it activates when your car is in reverse only and then it will transmit it to uh, the, uh, the LCD, di LCD display. Um, it came with a sticky mount so you could stick it to your dashboard or a suction cup mount. Um, another thing it came with is a, uh, this is the power supply for the um, LCD. So you can actually uh, hardwire it to your car so you don't need to plug it to a USB or uh, anything like that, or you could use uh, the included uh, cigarette lighter um, power adapter for the screen. So, uh, yep. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can do about installation. So a couple of other things that I purchased for this install is uh, to make it easier are these uh, T-tap uh, quick splices. Uh, basically, this will allow me to connect um, the power for the transmitter or the rear view camera to the um, to the reverse light. And what this does is, you would attach uh, this to the the power um, wire going to the reverse light, and then uh, it would allow you to tap into that pretty easily I'll show you a little more about it uh, once I actually do it and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about uh, I bought this off Amazon for maybe seven bucks um, you don't have to buy this many I just bought it for uh, uh, just any future uses also I bought this uh, add a circuit kit off Amazon again this was I believe another six dollars or so um, all the information will be listed below uh, in the description of this video, but um, this would also allow me to add a circuit to the um, the fuse box so I could connect the the LCD screen directly to the car power with relative ease instead of having to do any crazy splicing or anything. And um, once I get this installed, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, another thing I bought is uh, 25 feet of this 18 gauge wire. Um, basically, uh, it turns out for my car, um, the license plate is mounted on my bumper and uh, the rear um, reverse uh, light is actually on my hatchback. Um, hatchback uh, a hatch I guess uh, so what I found is there's no easy way to um, route the cable from the bumper to the hatch because if I open my hatch then it will uh, pull the wire obviously so I needed a much longer cable run to make it more stable and uh, that way uh, hopefully uh, we can achieve a, a good and proper install and I'll show you a little more as I uh, go out to my car. All right, so I own a 2005 Mazda 3. And um, so the problem lies here with uh, 
the hatchback version. As you can see, this is where the reverse light is and uh, the actual license plate is below that on the bumper. And um, at, if, when you lift the gate, the, the reverse light goes very far away from the bumper. So that is gonna make it very difficult to route the cable, which is why I got the extra cable. And I'm hoping that I can somehow feed it up through here, uh, out here somewhere, maybe go around this panel and then up the side of this panel right here and then follow it up here and hopefully feed it up through here and then feed it again around here up this panel and then to where the rear view uh, i'm sorry the, the reverse light is and as you can see this is the reverse light there's two wires in here a black and a green one the black is the neutral the green is where the power is which i will be connecting the camera to so that it will automatically uh, find or, or automatically turn on the rear view camera uh, when i put it in reverse so that is what i'm going to try to do here and uh we'll see i had to actually take off this panel this panel was right here to unveil um, what was behind it and I think with some luck I should be able to route the cable up the side through this conduit up out here up through the side and to where the reverse light is so wish me luck so uh, I made some progress here uh, I found that it is easiest to start from here uh, and work your way down. So I fed the um, the cable up through here and I took off this panel as you could see and I guided it down this way into this hole and then I, I saw it come out here and I guided it uh, down here and now this part was a little tricky. Uh, I, I pulled the grommet out of both sides and I had to kind of feed it through I had to kind of straighten it out and then as it would go through these little ridges it would get stuck so I'd have to kind of squeeze it and then push squeeze it push squeeze it push and then it would finally get out here so um, I fed it down here when you feed it down here I had to take out these tabs right here three of them and then that allowed me to pull this down a little bit so i can get into there and as you can see um, i fed it through here and then uh, across the side and i had to also take this apart a little bit um, for this one it was a little harder i had to uh, disassemble this part as well um, Basically, you got to look for these tabs um, all around here, and also there's one bolt that goes here that I had to remove as well. But there's all these tabs around here. Just make sure you find all the tabs and pop them out. And once it's popped out, I was able to release it like this. That allowed me to um, pop out another tab, a white one for this guy. And I kind of just yanked at it, and it came loose. As you could see, there's these. Uh, little uh, uh, tabs that go into here to lock it in and when I got in there enough to reveal the cable I just made sure that the cable was going down the side panel and then I, had, I was able to make it come out of where we, uh, we change out the um, brake lights and the rear view lights I mean the brake lights and the turn signals here so unfortunately, um, I had an issue where uh, the rear view camera, 
I mounted it here and when I fed the cable through it the cable was pretty short if it was longer I might have been able to go around the bumper right here and feed it up a conduit that's down here I'm not sure if you can see that but there was a conduit up there that I could feed then up this way and then I could then connect it to the wireless transmitter and again the wireless transmitter side is also short so there's not much give here or slack to run it so the only thing I could do with my car was drill since the cables were so short and basically I decided to drill where my uh, what do you call it the spare tire is and I just drilled a small little hole and then I plan on feeding it uh, up through there uh, and hopefully we can get it connected so let me come back to that cable run uh, again it went uh, from the license plate right here um, I drilled a hole and came up through here and uh, now here's my wireless transmitter right here so the wireless transmitter is now hooked up to the outside camera so if you see here that is the outside camera going to the camera here's the wireless transmitter and the wireless transmitter power stuff is right here which is then I'm gonna connect to the cable run I just made and the cable run again goes up through here follows up this um, this panel and then through this panel up through this uh, rubber tube conduit and then um, goes down this way and then up to here the reverse light and here it is so I gave it a lot of slack in case I mess up or in case there are of any future upgrades or changes um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and put these together one end together I'm just gonna strip the wires using a wire stripper and then just use electrical tape for now maybe I'll sol uh, solder it in the future but for now just electrical tape and then here is where I'm gonna go ahead and tap into the pre-existing um, pre-existing reverse light again the green is the positive and the black is the ground and the same goes for here it's, it's the red is the positive and black is the ground so what I'm going to use is actually these t-taps um, so these t-taps too let's see if I can do this right yeah is uh hold on I'll be right back and I'll show you what they do green so these things are called uh, T-taps or quick splice T-taps. So this this thing right here, um, basically you would put the pre-existing wire that is uh, um, to the reverse lights here, and then you would crimp them down like so. And once you do that, this will tap into the existing uh, power for the re reverse light. Um, and then you use this other piece right here and this other piece goes into uh, the wire that is connected to the camera so that um, you can then plug it in like so and then you, basically the camera will be tapping into the existing wire so the existing wire will go in through here and then uh, the new wire that's coming from the camera will go into here so it's going to tap in so let me go ahead and install that and show you what it looks like so as you can see i installed the t-taps uh, basically like i said i crimped 
it down on the existing uh, reverse light bulb uh, wiring. Uh, one on the, the green wire, which is the, the live voltage wire, and then um, one on the black wire, which is the ground wire. So now they're tapped in, and I can go ahead and connect my camera into this. And here's my cable run. And I decided to use the red uh, one because it fit my, uh, my cable better. Uh, so I used the red uh, ends instead. And now I'm just going to go ahead and plug them into here so it's feeding. So let's see how that goes. So there it is, it's now all plugged in. And uh, my camera should be powered by it now. Um, here is my camera. And uh, again, the camera, the camera power comes from this wire right here to the, the to the transmitter and then this is my cable run and all I did was I um, I electrical taped them together so in the future I might do something more permanent but this will do for now so let's go ahead and turn on my engine and my reverse uh, and put it in reverse and see uh, how it goes so as you can see, uh, I am getting a light. It says power and link. Power means obviously it's powered on. Link means it is linked up to the monitor. Um, so right now my car is in uh, is turned on and in reverse. And um, basically, you gotta, guys got to be careful. I don't recommend you doing this at home, but uh, definitely use someone else uh, to help you with this and put your car, you know, in reverse when you do this. But um, I, I ended up just putting it in uh, my parking brake up and slowly getting out and making sure it doesn't move. But uh, yeah, you guys don't do that. Uh, use a second person. But yeah. So let's see if uh, I have video. And there you go. I have video. So let's do. Let's see something. So let's do a couple of tests. Um, I'm going to put it back into park and um, see how quickly it reacts. Um, fortunately, uh, let's see if I can get a good angle to show both. Okay, so I can't really get both my shift knob and the the um, the monitor in one shot but I will let you know when I'm doing it so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the park right now and as you can see it shut off and it eventually will shut off and then when you put it in reverse it should automatically come on and uh, so I'm gonna do that right now I'm sorry right now and as you can see it was very quick um, uh, maybe less than a second for it to uh, come on, so that's great. Um, I was expecting a little bit of uh, lag since it's wireless, but I'm very surprised at how fast that is. Uh, let's look at that again. So it shut off. I'm going to wait for the screen to actually turn off. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse right now. very fast uh, maybe a second and a half but I don't think it's a full second or I'm sorry not even a full two seconds definitely uh, very quick so very surprised and very happy actually um, so uh, let's I'll show you how I have it uh, powered on right now basically this end goes to an, an, uh, an a US I'm sorry not a USB a cigarette adapter right now however my plan is not to use a cigarette adapter but I plan on using an add a circuit one of these guys right here um, to add it to my fuse box so that uh, I don't need to take up my uh, cigarette lighter and I can start I can charge other stuff using my cigarette lighter and uh, my reverse cam 
will always be powered on every time I turn on the ignition. So basically I'm going to go into my fuse box which is underneath my passenger seat right here. Uh, plug this into the fuse box and basically connect this part to uh, the, the power for the, um, the monitor. Um, so let me come back and show you how that works. So after I tried to do the tap, I'm sorry, the add a circuit installation for the power supply for this monitor up here, it did not go so well. I bought the wrong uh, add a circuit. This is the, the large or regular fuse size. I need the mini. My car takes the mini. So I guess lesson learned, uh, make sure you buy the right one before, um, uh, or check and make sure before you actually purchase it. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far, you know, it's working with the cigarette lighter for now. Um, so I could do my review uh, without doing that part of the um, installation. But uh, as you can see, it uh, works pretty good. Put it into reverse and it comes up right away, very quickly. And uh, uh, the video quality is pretty good. I mean, it's just a reverse cam, so it's not like you need to see great detail. It comes with the alignment um, uh, grid lines or the lines. Uh, what I recommend is uh, just playing with the uh, camera position and just getting it just right for your what you're used to. Um, point it up and down um, depending on how you use it so that you know uh, uh, what the distance is when you hit the red and the yellow and the green. But uh, this thing is great. I mean, for wireless, uh, you know, there's no wire that I had to run all the way to the front of my car. Although, for my car, it was kind of a pain um, installing the uh, the wiring to the reverse cam, so uh, uh, the reverse light, and that took that was a pain. But that's just my car. No matter what camera uh, reverse cam solution that I purchased, it would have been the same. Because if I had to mount if I had to mount the camera on the license plate and um, and stuff like that, um, and the reverse light being on the hatchback uh, gate, um, it's, it was just going to be no matter what I chose, it was going to be similar. So, um, but yeah, everything's great. Um, there's no other real features to this except you could turn on or off the grid line. Uh, I prefer to keep it on. Um, let me see if I can play around with the menu, see if I can see anything. Uh, one second. A couple of settings uh, that you could do on this guy. There's actually very few buttons on here. Uh, up or plus, minus, menu. Now, what I notice what happens is uh, if I press the plus button, that's what brings the, uh, the lines here, the alignment lines. I press it again and it disappears. Now the minus button, what it does is just turns off the screen. So if in case you want to manually turn off the screen, minus button again turns it back on. Um, again, the plus button uh, just brings up the grid lines or the alignment lines. Now, um, I will tell you this, the, the menu for this is very awkward to use. So you press the menu button once and it'll bring up these three menus. Uh, now, you're not can't tell but the first one is currently highlighted right now um, and with the first one being highlighted that that is the pair one so if you uh, to select pair you have to hold down the menu button again uh, long press it and it'll begin the pairing process now um, since I already paired this device I'm not sure if it's uh, worth doing. Uh, I'm not going to do that. It's it's fairly simple. You just hold down the menu button and it'll, and it'll say pairing. You have to go back to the the transmitter and press the reset button and it'll pair uh, with this uh, screen. Uh, I've yet to see it lose pairing or anything like that so I'm not too worried about that. Now if I want to move over to the right or left, um, this is where it gets tricky. Um, if you press up again, all that will do is bring up the grid line. So what you have to do is long press to move side to side. So if I long press the minus button, it'll move over to the right and it takes quite a bit of time as you see it moved. And I can press long press the minus again 
and it moved. And long press it again, and it moved. And if I want to select this, again, I'd long press the menu. And this is just the info button. And all that shows you is this information. It looks like RX and TX. Uh, I'm guessing that means receive and transmit. Uh, it gives you that type of information. So let's go back into the menu. And then uh, long press the minus button. And now I selected the uh, TV screen thing. And if I long press the uh, menu, they'll go into another sub menu where I could play around brightness, contrast, and color. I'm not going to go ahead and go into this. Uh, it's, I don't think that all this is really necessary, but if you want to play with it, you can. So I'm going to go ahead and long press to select the brightness. And then I could um, plus or minus to get those down. And again, I have to long press to actually do anything. Um, so it's a little uh, tedious, but... Um, Basically, I don't think any of these uh, features really mean anything, except for maybe the pair. If for some reason you lose pairing to your transmitter, then I guess that would be the only useful function. Uh, contrast brightness, I mean, its default settings are fine. Uh, I guess you, if you really wanted to, you could adjust it. Um, but that's, all, that's up to you. Uh, so let's just try to go into it real quick to see what it looks like. So the third option right there is uh, flipping the, the camera image. So let's say uh, the only way you can mount the camera is uh, one way for some reason. Like it has to be mounted upside down. So then you can go ahead and uh, use uh, the third option to uh, go ahead and uh, flip the image on the screen. Um, since... Uh, for, since um, you had to uh, um, mount the camera a certain way. So I'm gonna go ahead and long press menu. And as you can see, it flipped it. And long press menu again. And it flipped it back. And then long press up button, or the plus button to go back to the, the screen. Okay, I'm at the screen, I'm gonna long, oh, whoops, I'm at pair. Oops. So it takes a little getting used to, um, but uh, yeah, but everything default is good, and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm still very happy with it. It, it wasn't too expensive, um, and I uh, there's no lag when I put it into reverse and park, and I, I was for sure there was going to be lag, but I was quite surprised and happy with this product, and um. If ever in the future I do decide to do uh, a legitimate uh, tap uh, or add a circuit so I don't have to take up using a cigarette lighter, then I'll go ahead and uh, do that. But for now, this will do. Um, and if I ever do uh, do that, I'll go ahead and update the review and update the video as well. Um, okay, uh, thank you for watching.